All right, back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen today with Chef Scott Simpson and sous chef Ty Thaxton from Swan Terrace at the Founders and one of the many restaurants participating in Boardwalk Art Show's Culinary Row that's going to take place this weekend. But really quick, you guys were at another culinary uh, little standoff at Opsale. Yeah, the Fleet Challenge. Sure. Mm -hmm. Chef Ty and I both were picked to be culinary ambassadors for Virginia to go on board the ships and work with the culinary teams there mm -hmm. in their galley and make some dishes and um, do a big cook-off. And you guys did pretty well, too. We did well. <laughs> Actually, I got lucky enough to um, work with the Ecuadorian team mm -hmm. and the uh, Guayas is the name of the ship. We took yeah. first place. That's awesome. What did you guys make? We made, of course, um, well, we had two days of this competition uh -huh. after including the finals, but we made a really nice, fresh uh, sea bass that was stuffed and wrapped with corn husk cooked wow. on cedar plank. Yeah, you were telling us, I was like, sounds good. Yeah, All right, so what are you going to make for us today, though, really quick? I'm going to make some brisket sliders. It's a house-made pulled barbecue brisket. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, we, we smoke <laughs> it in-house, we rub it in-house, and uh, we, wow. we then braise it in-house, and we basically just pull the meat and make little sliders out of these nice, delicious yeast rolls that we have here. And okay. then we top it off with a little bit of collared slaw, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that oh, in a bit. Okay. And I'm actually doing something that kind of combines what I did this last weekend at the event. Say, hence I'm using beautiful rockfish and making a nice ceviche. We figure out there it's going to be warm. This is one of the most refreshing, delicious uh, treats that people can have, and we think it'll be a nice specialty item there All at right. the art Carrie show. Carrie filleted a fish last week. I don't know if we're, maybe this, is this just decoration, or are we going to have to? I don't know. We may put oh it in there. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, in the kitchen today with Chef Scott Simpson and sous chef Ty Thaxton from the Swan Terrace at the Founders. And one of the many restaurants going to be participating in this weekend's Boardwalk Art Show's Culinary Row. You guys are making a couple of dishes for us. Ty, we're going to start with you, this little brisket, right? Yes, this little concoction here. This is the final product of our pulled brisket which sliders. Which starts with this, Which right? starts with okay. this. This is right out of the smoker. I'm wow. just going to cut it in half and give you a little little sneak peek of what it looks like inside if you can get a good shot here uh, nice little smoke ring there uh -huh. uh, this is right out of the smoker so basically we rub it for one day and then the next day we throw it in the smoker for eight hours uh, uh -huh. let it cool and then the next day we do a another eight hour cook in the oven for uh, 200 degrees with a little bit of stock okay and we basically just let it um, tenderize itself it, it takes a long time it's a very long process mm -hmm. and when we when we run out, obviously, it's a, it's a little <laughs> difficult to, to make yeah, some more. Yeah, this isn't something you can just whip up on the fly, but, you and know, of course, it makes a big portion. Of course, of course. And then we do a, a little bit of um, a homemade barbecue sauce mm. here, and we just uh, basically stew it uh, with the meat. And while I assemble these on our cracked pepper yeast rolls that we also make in-house daily, uh, I'll pass it over to Chef Scott, and he'll talk a little bit about the mocha event. Yes, what's going on? Well, we're very excited to be a part of this. This mm -hmm. is actually uh, quite an experience for us, but they've been doing this... 57 years mm -hmm. now. Um, the nice thing about this is this year they're adding a new feature. It's called the Culinary Row. Yeah. Uh, Wavy TV is going to mm -hmm. be there. So we're going to be there. 20 of the local restaurants, mostly local, are going to be doing some catering for this. So we're showing today two of the items that we're going to be actually serving and selling there ah, at the booth. That's okay. kind of the theme behind Great. today's event. But uh, uh, what I understand that this event is one of the top, I think it's like the top 50 or 43rd mm -hmm. in the country for fine art shows. Oh, nice. So they're expecting quite a good crowd. I know they're giving a big prize to the best artists. Yeah. So um, we're looking forward to providing food for a, a huge group of fans of art. So. Well, like I said, anyone knows I love to cook, love to eat, and, you know, Chris and I are going to be out there this weekend, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hey, tell me about this little collared slaw you were talking about I was before. just about to cut in there. Uh, <laughs> what, what we do to finish the sliders is we top it off with a little bit of collared slaw, as I said. Uh, what we do is we take our baby organic collards from a, a local farmer here in Virginia. Okay. Uh, they're very tender, very fresh. They don't have the same kind of bitter aftertaste that, a, that an adult collard does. Mm. And what we do is we just clean them and cut them very thin and mix them with some shredded carrots, a little bit of mayonnaise, some honey, some fennel seed, and then the rest of the recipe is our little secret. But uh, it's, basically, <laughs> it's basically a little coleslaw a made out secret. of collard greens. Okay, so, so that goes on top of the brisket. Yes. And I love this. It's like little finger foods. And like you said, this is one of the things that you guys are going to be having out there when people are walking around. They need something small, bite-sized. Right. We just want to make it. sure it's a nice, you know, like at the op sale, 
There's a lot of different mm -hmm. foods out there, but this is more of a, a delightful treat. I think it's going to be something that's more of a specialty item, and it's something we do do at Founders Inn. Yeah. It's on our menu. We just don't serve it always as sliders, but it's one of our okay. most popular items. And mm -hmm. hearty, too. I like that. Yes. Uh, the cilantro, is that in which I'm going to be using exactly? that when You're I do the ceviche. Okay. Um, it goes really well with the fresh rockfish that's here and all the bright flavors of lime and, and onions and poblano. So... That's what we'll be doing there. How's business going for you guys? It's been going really good. Mm -hmm. We're actually, uh, the, this next weekend during the event, there's also going to be a big Father's Day brunch back at the hotel. That's right. Mm -hmm. Father's Day's coming so up. So that's right what, okay, so do the art show and then wanna, go to the brunch. Yeah. And, you know. They want to bring dad. Is it, it's not too late. They want to Oh, no. It's, call it's, ahead uh, of time. We're doing a big grill, a lot of um, fun sausages, and uh, we're do carving a steamship around, and we're having a beer wow. vendor out there doing some uh, micro brews and everything, so that'll be nice as well. It says Happy Father's Day, like a brew. <laughs> <laughs> so, are these it? Is this finished? That's going to be like that, and we'll be serving uh, two of those out there. We're saying uh, selling a pair of those at the the fair, but we're going to fill some more up for for you all to try, and then um, and I'll start working on the ceviche. Yeah, so the ceviche is next. Yes. All right, sounds good. Well, wow, this was simple put together. Can't wait to get started on the next one. Thank you both so much. Thanks. All right, back in the kitchen with Chef Scott Simpson and sous chef Ty Thaxton from Swan Terrace at the Founders. And, of course, one of the many restaurants we've been telling you, participating in that Boardwalk Art Show's Culinary Row right. this weekend. But, Ty, you got our little brisket sliders ready to go? They're ready to go. Hope you're so now you we're going to start on our ceviche. All right, I'm going to help you, uh, ask you to give me a hand yes. with putting this together. All right. But ceviche, the reason we like this particularly for this event is because the warmth that's going to be out there walking mm -hmm. around, we want something that's refreshing, has a wonderful taste. It's um, seafood, which is kind of light mm -hmm. and healthy. And also, it's it's kind of hydrating the whole process. Yeah. It's made with limes and citrus. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, there, I already put a little bit of the fish in, but if you can grab this fish okay. here. So this is the rock some, fish, Yes, right? I'm going to okay. be cutting some orange wedges. All just of this? Yes, put okay. all that in there. All right. All right. Got then it. you're going to put in the red onions. All right. Okay. We've diced those small. And then we have poblano chilies, which are very nice. A lot of places use peppers. Yeah. But um, these poblanos have a little more warmth to them. Okay. Um, okay, let me get this other and one. And then the on, or, uh, tomatoes. 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 Put that in. All right. Cilantro. Fresh love cilantro. cilantro. We love cilantro. Who doesn't love cilantro? Okay. If you could squeeze a lime in there. Okay. Um, perfect. All right. Boom. All right. That's wonderful. And There's my ugly Band-Aid. I had a little accident yesterday. <laughs> yeah, just one more will be good. It's already <laughs> been marinating overnight in lime. Okay. And that's kind of the cooking process. Now, yeah. um, a couple unique things we're going to do. I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of orange juice. Okay. Um, that'll give it a little bit of uh, kind of more complexity and sweetness to it. Gotcha. I like the orange with the lime, which not everyone does. Yeah. Another thing here is this is actually ketchup. And a lot of um, <laughs> South American countries... To actually use this, it sweetens up the, the recipe a little bit. Yeah. And it gives it kind of a binder to hold all that good flavors together. I would have so never mix thought that. So mix that up a little bit. Yeah, it's um, okay. actually very authentic. Okay, we'll put in a touch of salt mm -hmm. and a little bit of pepper. It's fresh ground pepper. It's looking quite good, this don't you think? It looks like a salsa. <laughs> it's like a salsa yeah. with fresh fish. Yeah. Um, and we're using rock fish, which is oh, a good. wonderful item here from locally. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's actually ready to go. And as I said, we clean the go. fish. We soak the, the pieces of the fish overnight okay. in a little bit. If you just put half of that in each bowl. All right. Okay. Yeah, because rockfish, which is what you have right here in front. Correct. You guys use a lot of that in your dishes? We do. Yeah. We do. While you're bowling that up, uh, okay. another thing that we failed to mention about Mocha earlier, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a beer garden with live entertainment. They're also going to have a VIP section for all the vendors and all the ticket holders, and there's also going to be a public art display as well. Nice. So a couple more interesting things to look for. Uh, the culinary row, as Chef mentioned earlier, which we will be serving this delicious dish. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be off of 24th Street. So come down and join come us. Come on down, say hi, check them out. Swan Terrace, though, if you want to go to their restaurant at the Founders Inn Spa, it's located at 5641 in Indian River Road in Virginia Beach. You can give them a call, 366-5777, or just go online at Founders Inn dot com and check them out. I know you were, we were talking, you guys have something that you're doing now with the Mondays. What is it called? The, oh, uh, Mouthwatering Mondays. Mouthwatering Mondays. That, Mouthwatering Mondays. that, is that sounds like fun. That's a very nice uh, event where we basically invite local farmers as a celebrity mm -hmm. or fishermen. And um, then we uh, pair it up with some kind of a local beverage, either the wines or yeah. sometimes we do beers. And we have a, a few guests out there when the restaurant's normally closed. And um, we just have a very intimate dinner of about eight courses or seven paired awesome. with wines. 
And these are some um, lavash okay. that we've made in-house with a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. All and right. that's going to serve as actually the, the, the way you eat the ceviche. Well, it looks good. You guys did it all in the time allotted. Both of you, thank you so much. Of course, at the end, we're going to taste this delicious dish Can't when we wait. come back. Thanks. All right.